and we're back with the Val Lewis experience. I'm gonna put the mic a little bit away from my face because I noticed in the last one it was uh pretty loud when I talked. But uh, we're back with the second episode of Assassin's Creed Three. I need to turn up the volume on here because I can't hear anything. Yeah. All right, we're good. Um, last episode I shanked some guy in the back. Um, killed him. Now I think I'm just casually walking out as everyone freaks. Oh my god. He murdered the man. Oh. I, I guess it was him. Nothing wrong here. Casually walk away. Let me out. Let me out. Fuck on my way. I really wish I lived during these times. Seems like a cool, cool, interesting era. I don't know why I say that, but I just do. I always liked the time period as a kid and all that. <laughs> but I did like the Roman era a lot better. Hey, don't push me. I'm not a big fan of this whole walking thing. It's not really a uh, really that fun for me. I wish I could just run. All right, here we go. I'll shut up. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To fleet and bride. By your command. I swear this is national treasure. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or... Our enemies, should they find it first? They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is. Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command, although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, we'll want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Hatham, and bring honor to us all. Damn, it's not like this guy can get on an airplane and get there in 10 hours. He's gonna be on a boat for a month. Fuck that. You better be giving me some multi-million dollar contract if I'm going to spend a month on a boat just to go to Boston. Just to do, I don't know what the fuck he said. Find a chest or something. I don't know. Day two of day, f day out of 30. Here we go. 
This is a pretty game, I'll give it that. Damn, look at that shit. It looks real. It looks like I'm watching Pirates of the Caribbean. That's what it looks like. Damn. Great visuals in this game. Five dollars they show black slaves. Five dollars. Five dollars. Any black slaves? Any? Huh? I can't go up there, I guess. Alright, cool. Huh. I had to come up this way. And then all will be well. Are you sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. Though you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest is deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnell. <laughs> so I I don't care you. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? I don't I don't get the joke. See how funny you find this? That's enough, Graves. Alright, I guess I'm gonna learn how to fight somebody. What am I doing? Hold B to enter. Sweet. What, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to hit this motherfucker or something? Hit the motherfucker. What the fuck? Look at how he fumbles about. Well, okay. Oh. Oh, you're getting shit on now. Listen to this, Edgar. Thinks he can swagger on up here and declare himself king of the... Damn! Please Look at it. This dude got shot. How the fuck do you bleed like that? Three body shots. See, that's what I was trying to do the first time. Because that's what makes sense. Oh, the guy that got shanked in the heart. He's back. He's back, folks. Pop! Nick! Oh! Uppercut at him. Uppercut at him like the girl on the bus. Pow! Uh oh. Hey. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. <laughs> nigga gotta do what a nigga gotta do. Oh! There's your knife, Ben. Yeah, bitch. Blue icon is an ally. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon. You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. D does he know the way to get into his? Okay, there you go. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, 
What will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Damn. Are we understood? Excellent. Good day. This guy isn't really that much of a badass, though. I'm just not feeling it with his voice. Feels like he should be, uh... Like a preacher or something. Not a badass. I sure got Clint Eastwood to do the voices. I'm just not feeling it. Just not feeling it. Just not feeling it. I'm sorry. Oh. Good walk right there, I guess. Is that a door? Okay, it's not a door. There we go. Interact. B button. Sorry if you can hear me yawning. It's like 6 in the morning. Deepest apologies. Is there a point to this cinematic or not? Guess not. Day 28? What did I tell you? It takes a fucking month to get across. A month. And I skipped 26 days in less than two minutes. Splendid. Mr. Kenway. Captain? Whatever they're up to. I believe it's coming to a head. I'd best get to work. <laughs> okay. I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen the uh, movie Ocean's Eleven. The Benedict guy, the guy that owns the casino. This guy looks just like him and sounds like him. I wonder if uh, he's the voice actor. But supposedly this guy's Native American. I think Benedict was a uh, Italian guy. I'll shut up now. You there? I have some questions for you. That's nice, but I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. <sighs> okay. Speak with the doctor or the cook, yeah? Alright, mate. Won't be serving for another couple hours. Some biscuits in the barrel if you're desperate. Actually, I've come with a question. What's that? Have any of the men been acting strange recently? Said anything that struck you as out of the ordinary? The boys cry about the rations as if there's anything I can do about it. Beyond that, I ain't heard much. My advice, go find James. His ears are always open. And where might I find him? Right behind you, actually. He's the one sitting on the barrel. That light was so bright. <laughs> oh, I'm about to sneeze. It's gonna suck. I'm gonna mute the mic. Ooh. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. Go what you want to know. Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they have little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk them down, but 
There's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. All right. Just got done sneezing my ass off. So, now we're back. Can you walk any slower? God. It's like there's a speed limit on the deck. Evening, sir. Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you, what brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Take care where you tread. Deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? Because we're going to get ambushed. Even I know that. Some ship is going to come up and flank us. And tear a hole into our bomb. That's why, mate. No, I don't want to play a game. God damn it. No. Back. There we go. Yeah, yell quiet. Because I won't hear it. It's not right yet, mate. Fucking hell. What is this? Analyze clue. Semen. High quality animal semen. I knew it. Let's see if, if my hypothesis is correct. Most curious. I'm going to take a wild guess and say that the semen on the bucket or barrel was from a huh who could it have been by I don't know it's a game of clue who put the animal semen on the barrel look at that goddamn water day 33 That looks so real. Oh my god. Oh no. Any news? Each night it's the same. I scout one area, and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it. Ship sighted off! She's making ready to fire! There's the black guy. Ready the everybody down! See how smart I am, folks? Gosh. Salt and pirates of the Caribbean. I knew it'd come back. What the hell? I thought this guy was my bitch. Nah, I'm getting bitched. It's the most stupid shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Who's who this Calvin Klein wearing, motherfucker? Where did he come from? Escape from London so easily after what you did at the opera that we wouldn't notice. 
that we wouldn't follow? Oh. So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? Stab that nigger. All right, here I come. He pulls out a gun. <laughs> Who does he look like? He looks like somebody. I'm trying to get a cultural reference. Alright, what am I supposed to do? Alright, whatever. Oh, nigga! Hey! I can't see his ass. Yeah! Ooh. Oh! Oh! How you feeling? Oh! Why can't I just shank him? Can't, can't I stab him? Come on. How? Why can't I kill you? Oh my god. Shank the dude. What the fuck? Oh! Now that is what I'm talking about. Shake that nigga! Woo! You getting cooked now, boy. Oh my god, just shake the dude. What is Jack Sparrow? Dara! Oh, you motherfucker. And God. Oh! Oh, you, you just. You look pitiful. Clean yourself up. Don't don't don't. Is that so? They'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm. This is really part of the Caribbean now. I won't do it. Then I will. All right. All right. So two on that note, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, favorite, comment, dislike, I don't care. Follow me on Twitter. That would really help out if I follow you back. I'm really active on there. I'll put that in the description. Actually, I have a little uh, little outro, so I'll play that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later.
Wow, I'm just real. I'm just realized I could have done this. I, I yeah, there we go. I could have just done that, but whatever. Uh, see you guys later.